Hello and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial by Profile Tree. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about opacity masks and how to implement them into your projects, um, especially when you need to remove objects. So for object removal is primarily what we're focusing on today. So we'll get stuck into it right now. If you look at my sequence here, um, so I was doing an interview with this gentleman here and unfortunately a part of the uh, lighting equipment we were using um, got stuck in the shot and we didn't realize so I'm just going to show you a quick way that we can sort of get this out um, this is providing that you do have a shot when it's not in it um, so yeah it's if accidentally it, it ended up in the shot and you have both shots so you can use the previous shot to fix the incorrect shot. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag the clip that we need to fix, which is this one, and drag it above um, our clip that we're going to re replace it with, which doesn't have the error. So drag that just above. And then what we're gonna do is go to our opacity feature on our effect controls. And we're going to use the free draw bezier. So go ahead and click on that. And then we're simply going to create a shape around the outside of our mistake or our error. So just draw it with a few points like so. And don't worry where the points go in the first place, you can always adjust them. So go ahead and draw those on. And then what we're going to do is click inverted and that should be it fixed we'll take a look at it and there we go so as you can see we've actually missed a little part we'll go back and go to our mask which is just here and simply lift this up a little just so we cover all of it so just make sure you don't miss any parts out um, and then if we click off that now we can see it is completely fixed and everything looks okay um, again obviously they have to be identical shots um, as these two were so now there's no um, difference in the shots so that's just another handy tip you can use um, the masking feature for in order to correct shots um, so there's no inconsistencies in your final project. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, again, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.